Leo back with another video today. Hope you guys are doing good. Now, in this video, I'll be talking about AMC Entertainment Holdings, ticker symbol AMC. And then I'll be talking about GameStop Corporation, ticker symbol GME. So in this video, I'll be giving you guys all new buying levels, resistance levels, levels I'm looking to buy more shares, how I'm playing the shares that I have, and the shorts are getting scared, okay? As long as we can keep this momentum up, I think it will benefit us very good, okay? So make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe, and make sure you share the video out to everybody you know so everybody can get this knowledge. Now, the first levels we'll go over are the old levels. Um, so the old levels that we have on the chart already and how we're going to switch those around. So we have a support level down here around $35. That's going to stay there. We have an old buying level at $37.15, old resistance level at $39.15, and an old resistance level around $45. So let's go down to the five minute chart, see how these levels acted. Okay. Pressure below the level, like I told you guys, pressure can come below the buying level. Okay. And if you're new, usually I have buying pressure levels right here. And then the buying pressure did come below it, but didn't really give a good entry. So I didn't buy any shares, which is fine. I already hold a nice position on AMC. Okay. Had that pop up. Okay. So this day was just a delay of what should happen here. Okay. Cause say it went up, came down, gave us an entry. I was expecting this this day right so that would have been the entry and it kind of just took off since open really didn't give you any entry in here either kind of just took up to that resistance level now what was bullish is resistance level around 39.50 support so classic resistance turned to a support classic resistance turned to a support and even kind of supported right there and then as you can see what happened today uh, let me go out kind of almost act as support right here too and then price kind of stabilized uh, later throughout the day. So let's take off this chart. That level around $45, that's still a resistance level. I'm going to leave that up there, but we will take off these two because these two are done. So let's go back out to the 90-day, 30-minute chart right here, okay? So resistance level $45, we're going to leave that there. That does not change. Buying level and... So what we're going to do is we're going to just put a buying level. I think the only really resistance now, since it already kind of hit today, will be around that 45 level. So now it would just be the buying level would be around $39.10. This is where I'll be looking to go ahead and add some more shares to the position I have. Okay, I haven't sold any shares just yet. Like I said, I at least want the stock to go over $70-ish dollars. When I'm start when I start to take profit. So for right now, 39.10, looking for that buying pressure, looking for some pullback, looking for that buying pressure to come in that area. And then if it does, that might be a good time to get some shares. And then around this $45 level, you want to watch that whenever price gets up there for resistance, because you might see a little selling pressure come in when price gets up here. Okay. But for right now, these are the main two levels I'm kind of watching on AMC. And if anything changed, I will make an update for you guys. Okay. And something else I said or why the shorts will get scared. If we start pushing, right, it can go slowly. It can go fast. As long as we start pushing and we get out of this little trading sideways range, we start pushing. The shorts are going to have to cover, okay, which means they're going to have to buy those shares, which is going to boost the price much higher, okay? So this is what you want to see. I'm pretty sure they loaded all their shorts back on round when it got up like the 50s and stuff. They were just loading their shorts on. Price is kind of stabilized. So as price comes back up, those shorts are going to have to start covering and that's going to push the stock up even more, which is going to benefit us that much more. OK, so those are the two that I'm watching for on AMC and then ticker symbol GME for GameStop Corporation levels. I'm watching for on here. We'll go over the old levels and then we'll go over the new levels as well. We have an old resistance level around 200. That's still a level I'm looking to exit. OK, so I'll leave that up there. Um, we have some other resistance below price, but it kind of already hit those levels. So I'll give you guys another level you would kind of want to watch out for just for an advance around 208. That's the level I'm watching out for, for resistance as well. I don't own any shares of GME. I am looking to buy some. I'm just waiting for that right time. Okay. Then we had an old buying level around here, around 180. See how that acted. 
didn't hit it hasn't hit it really at all it came right here as you can see it came right here buying pressure came back down to it nice entry kind of went up but the percentage let's see what percentage that was only three percent right so that really wasn't anything to enter off of you guys know i do like a minimum of ten percent on each play so three percent wasn't really enough for me to enter so this buying level uh we'll actually take this we'll actually leave the buying level on there we'll just make it a little weaker okay so not too much to change on gme it was more to change on amc all i did on gme was add a resistance around 208 and kind of weaken this buying pressure level so when it comes down there you kind of want to see if buying pressure confirms or not but if it does not confirm then i don't really see any clear levels until like below to 170 to 160 which means it might have a little harder drop if it doesn't start showing buying pressure in this area okay so just make sure you kind of watch that but those are the main levels i'm looking for on gamestop ticker symbol gme hope you guys enjoyed the video always remember no recommendation to buy or sell anything this is for educational purposes only so do not trade anything you see or hear in the video and i catch you guys in the next one bye